guys, Rambly Bob here with another update with the Pecron E600 LFP. Okay, so this has been an awesome little box. I've had no problems with it except one. There's a new problem that just occurred. I was talking to some of the scribers and they had brought to my attention something that I should retry. And I retried it and it caused the problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the system on. Uh, just a DC, okay, because the problem is with the DC now. I want you guys to see this. So this is obviously the E600. This is another one. This is an old one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to power dump from this circuitry into this one. So this battery into this one. Okay, so what we'll do is uh, we'll take one of these. This is the 100 watt out now. I want you to see what happens, okay? And I'm going to put that into this one. Now, you can't see this one, but you can see this one. This screen is terrible, guys. It's an old one that I just happen to have uh, kind of laying around. Um, let's see. And now we have this one. Okay, notice it's, it's going to ramp up to that 100, right? 100 is promised, okay? So that's all good. Uh, let's see here. Okay, all right. Just had to readjust my video here. Okay, so notice it's coming out at 97 watts, right? Which means it's coming in here. It's very hard to see, guys. You see that? 90 watts. That's a terrible little screen, but it's an old power station, and uh, my wife likes it, so we kept it. Um, okay um so 98 97 okay now well, i want you to watch what happens to the dc portion of it when i plug more stuff in these guys here now of what we found out we think that this one and this one are connected and this one and this one are connected or um vice versa but uh there's a weird pattern here which makes if you plug in too many things this will crash i don't know if it's a safety thing or what so here we're going to plug in one extra phone here this is a big phone so it's got a big battery okay we're gonna see what happens so leave that on so now that'll take oh see okay guys you see what happened instantly it crashed to 15 watts this is charging and this is charging this is only pulling in 10 watts and now this is only pulling in well, i don't i don't have a meter on that one but um uh, how crazy is that guys right so obviously there's an issue with these where you plug them in at the same time, you see what happens. Now watch, this confirms that when I unplug this A, watch what happens to the power. Okay, it'll, it'll, it'll die down, see that? And then it, it ramps back up. So there's some kind of safety feature. Uh, we don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a shared thing or what. Uh, notice that ramp back up to 99 watts, guys, for this 100 watt USB. Crazy, right? So if we do the same thing and we plug it in the bottom one, Watch what happens again. Let's see. I, th I think these are together and those are together. But notice it's still at, a, at 99, right? And no nothing happened. And this is now charging. Okay, let me see here. Um, oh, this phone's terrible. Okay, let me plug it in here. Okay. All right, see that? Turbo charging, okay. The screen is real light on this. It's an old phone. But notice it's going up past 104, okay? So I, I think it's just a bug in the system or something. But notice that this is now coming out at 90. And then this is coming out probably at about 4 watts because obviously this is much smaller than this big thing. But um, watch again when I plug unplug from here. Okay, I'll let it go back to its 99 so it's a fair test. Okay, that'll go back to 99, 98, 97. This is still 90. It's hard to see, but you can see it's still 90. Okay, now watch what happens when I plug this bad boy in here. Instantly, see that guys? It instantly like, uh, it, I don't know if it overloads something or there's a protection or something, but uh, like I said, me and the scribers were talking about this today in, in one of the uh, videos. And I thought, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it the old heave ho here and uh, you know, give it a try. but. It drops down to anywhere between 20 and 30 watts. Now, notice this is only coming out at 10. If you can't see it, it's only or going in at 10. It's hard to see that, but it's only going in at 10 watts. And then this is coming out at 23, which is the phone, okay? And this, but when I unplug this, watch again. You'll, you'll see it in real time. It'll ramp down and then ramp up. See that? So, obviously, there's some kind of, uh, I, I don't know if it's a... Uh, um maybe a pro uh, a protocol problem in there or um it was designed to work together or uh, but i don't know this should come out at 100 this should come out at 18 this should come out at 
18, that should come out at 18, but this one actually comes out at 26. So what I'll do is I'll switch them now, okay? I'll put it in the 18 volts out, and you actually get more than 18. I've tried it on a few occasions, and you do get more than what it says. So I'm happy about that part, but now this combination part is really weird. So notice it's coming out at 26, guys. Remember, this is supposed to be an 18-watt port, but let's see what it does when you plug in this guy here. I think it only affects the 100 watt. Oh, nope. See? See how that died? It literally died and then ramped back up, and now it's going back up. And notice it stopped at the 18, which is what it should have been before. So I don't know if this is a protocol problem or, or an internal thing. Um, I, oh, there, 20. 21. It's going up a little bit. This is only bringing in 9 watts now. Okay. But I wanted to do this video because, like I said, anytime that we find the good or the bad, uh, we tell you. We, we tell you. We, we're not fan favorites of anybody. This is not a commercial channel. This is a one where we do testing, and if you like it, you buy it. If you don't, don't buy it. But we do full testing, and we're 100% on the table of what we find. And this, I think, is a problem. So notice if I go like this, okay, it'll probably ramp down. See? Ramp down. Let me keep the screen on here. Ramp down, and then it ramps back up. So when you plug in too many things, I forgot the uh, the, the, the gentleman who uh, first brought this to my attention. Um, yeah, I, I can't remember his name, but notice it went back to 26. So now let's do it one more time, okay, guys? Just for, you know, a, a test is no good if you do it once, you know, because a test can be lucky. But if you do it uh, repeatedly, um, you know, a fact is something you could check, right? So a scientist always looks for... Uh, uh, a, a peer-reviewed thing where they can double check okay so we're sitting at zero so we're going in the hundred that'll ramp up to a hundred or 99 something like that it's real close guys it's real close and it has a slow start i really like the slow start i really do okay let's see it uh it's going up 54 69 86 97 and that's pretty much where it sits 99 yeah, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen it at 100, but no, I'll take 99 over 100. But like I said, th that works fine. Like if you had this into like a MacBook Pro or something like that, um, or something that could actually, you know, uh, uh, drain 100 watts out of this box, and then you had to hook up someone else's phone with it, that would obviously be something in question. So uh, background, I know you're watching. Um, please check this out and see what's the deal with this when you put two together. Um, it's just, it's weird. I don't have uh, many of these things, so I didn't try this yet. I just tried to see if they would work individually, but um, I don't have many things in a cigarette lighter. It's been years. But the USB, I do use the uh, C, and I, I like the C. I wish it had 200 100 watt outs. But notice it went down to that 23, guys. So it, it will charge this, and it will charge that phone. The problem is, at 23 watts, it's only bringing in 10. And then probably the other five or six or seven is going in this bad boy. Um, I do have this. I don't know if this will fit. Let's try and see if we can get it to fit. It's going to be um, very tough to get it in. See, it doesn't quite fit because of the the cable. And I don't want to bend it too much. Okay, it's it's in. It's, it's kind of a little bit bent. But uh, notice that this is coming out now, guys, at the five, five volts at about five... What is that, about 5 watts? 10, 9 watts? I can't see my eyes are not getting good anymore. But notice, remember, this dropped back down. So it, that means if you unplug this one, okay, oh, okay, so let's see here. Let's switch the little screens. This is a very nice, uh, neat little device, guys, if you ever need it. Reset. Okay, let's go to the main screen. Uh, oh, heck, I shouldn't have. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're back to the 9 watts at 5 volts. At 1.7 amps, so that's normal, okay. And then we're gonna see what it does in live time. Hope you can see that when I plug this big one in, and we'll see what happens. Oh, doggone it! The screen. <laughs> All right, never mind. Oh wait. Okay, did, did you see that, guys? Do you see that? It reset. It reset. Okay, so it's coming out at see only 4.5 uh, watts, 4.51 it looks like, and then back up to nine. Um, so this is coming out. Um, kind of what it's supposed to remember this is supposed to be 18 watts and then um, when you unplug this watch this thing spike I don't know if you can see that I'm trying to get it so you can see it here see how that spiked up guys 
in real time. Okay, so obviously we do have um, uh, the first issue that I found with the, uh, the Pecron E600 LFP. I really like this machine. I really, really do. And if somebody wouldn't have had mentioned this, I don't know if I would have caught that. So I'm very, very thankful to our Scriber family out there, guys, because uh, that's what a, a family is supposed to do is help each other. So if, if uh, somebody knows something, as I said, the good, the bad, the ugly about any of these systems, I'll be happy to test them live on video so you can actually see them. Um, let's see if I just plug this in real quick and there's not hooked anything, what will happen? Let's see. See, it doesn't affect it, guys. So until you draw, like that, until you draw, see that? It just kills it. And then that says charging. All right, well, this is uh, an update I didn't want to uh, see. But uh, like I said, this channel is built on honesty. So when we find something bad about a system, Pecron, please, you got to take a look at this and fix this. Um, you see what it does, Pecron? It shoots right back up. So there's obviously either uh, maybe a protocol problem or some kind of uh, cross configuration problem in these ports here. I, they, they seem to be the top ones together and the bottom ones together is what we were talking about. All right, guys, ramble on, be safe. I wanted to get this information out. I had a long day at work, but I, I promised to get it out and I'm getting it out. All right, guys, thanks a lot and I'll talk to you again. Bye.